Hey guys, it's Chris. From aquatic creatures that can inject you with the slightest touch, to ones that will get you without you even realizing it, join me as I reveal 12 of the most venomous sea creatures in the world. Number 12. Flower Urchin It's a common misconception that the world is only full of mobile things that can hurt you. But there are plenty of immobile things that can hurt you too. For as many swimmers and divers have made note of over the years, one thing you absolutely have to look out for is the sea urchin. The sea urchin is easily one of the most deceptive things out there, for sometimes you don't even notice it. And then you step in the wrong place, and you feel its spines going through your foot, your leg, your arm, or whatever it may be relative to your position. What might be more terrifying than the sea urchin though is the flower urchin. For this very special sea urchin has a skill all its own, and that skill is the ability to leave bits of itself in your body, and those remaining bits will pump deadly poison into you. On their own, there are some sea urchins that are toxic, but the flower urchin is the worst of the bunch. It has toxins like contractin A, which can cause your muscles to spasm, while pedotoxin can cause convulsions, allergic reactions, and yes, it can even kill you. This is why divers and swimmers are to be very wary when they go into the deeper oceans, so they don't mess with these sea urchins. Number 11. Blue Ringed Octopus There are many octopi in the oceans, and all of them are dangerous in one form or another. But one that is easily separated from the others is the Blue Ringed Octopus. For not only is it a master of camouflage, but it has one of the most deadly toxins in the world, tetrodotoxin. If this toxin sounds familiar, it's because it's the same poison that can be found in pufferfish, as well as the infamous poison dart frog. When it's just trying to get by in the water, it'll blend in with the environment and hide in plain sight. Then when it gets threatened, it'll turn its skin yellow and reveal the blue rings that give it its name, and then lash out at those foolish enough to get in its space. Tetrodotoxin is incredibly potent and is able to kill a human at the slightest touch of it. Plus, because of the size of the blue ringed octopus, it's easy to miss getting stung by it. But you'll know you were when you start to feel the poison shutting down your systems. Terrifying. Number 10. Portuguese Man of War The Portuguese Man of War is a very special type of ocean creature, mainly because it's commonly referred to as a jellyfish, when actually it's not. A jellyfish is a single organism that acts on its own brain, while the Portuguese man of war is a colonial organism, one that is made up of multiple species known as zooids or polyps. They work together to move around, eat, and even attack animals and people. To that end, the Portuguese man of war is something that most people try to avoid, but sometimes fail to do so. Every year about 10,000 people are stung by the Portuguese man of war, but what makes them arguably more dangerous is not their toxin, which can be fatal in certain cases, but rather that the tentacles that have the toxin can be detached from the body and drift around in the water with the toxin fully intact. To that end, people will swim into them, get stung, and not understand what happened to them. Number 9. Pufferfish In case you don't know, the pufferfish has a toxin that is feared all over the world, tetrodotoxin. When calm, the pufferfish looks just like a regular fish, but when threatened or spooked, it'll inflate itself into its ball form, one that protrudes a bunch of spikes meant to ward off prey. The problem, though, is if you eat it. The fear of the pufferfish is so grand that it's full-on illegal to bring these fish into most of the countries of the world. The reason for this is that, well, yes, you can eat the fish, you have to know how to do it without leaving any of the poison in it as you cook it. And that's hard to do. In fact, only certain chefs in Japan are skilled enough to do it. Regardless, this is a fish that should be avoided. And now for number 8, but first, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and click that notification bell while you're at it. It's free. Number 8. Lionfish the lionfish is a very curious species in the oceans, mainly because its massive body in terms of its protruding fins make it very hard to miss, which is kind of the point. The lionfish is one of the most deadly creatures in the ocean and it does not try to hide this fact. Its fins are incredibly toxic and able to kill all sorts of life in the oceans. But that same toxin can do incredible damage to humans as well. Just on the base level, getting stung by them will inject their toxins into the body and cause extreme pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, breathing difficulties, convulsions, dizziness, redness of the affected area, headaches, numbness, heartburn, diarrhea, and sweating. That is a garbage crappy list. Do not find these animals. 
In the worst cases, they can cause limb paralysis, heart failure, and even death, though these cases are rare. Number 7. Cuttlefish When you hear the name cuttlefish, it sounds like a rather kind aquatic creature. But when you see it in real life, you might be left scratching your head, especially when you hear it is indeed toxic. The cuttlefish is without a doubt one of the most unique creatures under the sea. Notice that I say it's not a fish because it's not. It's actually a mollusk, and one that is very closely related to both octopuses and squids, believe it or not. This relationship is due to the arms and tentacles on the front of its body, which is actually how the poison within is administered. Not via the arms, but via a beak, which octopuses and squids also have, that bites down on the prey caught in the arms and then injects the poison. The poison itself is very fast acting, including ensuring a good and quick kill. However, should you find a cuttlefish on your journeys underwater, you won't have to fear them as much as other fish will, because the toxin they have within them actually doesn't affect human beings all too often. However, there are exceptions to this rule, such as the flamboyant cuttlefish. This particular entity likes to change colors in order to warn predators that this is a creature that is not to be messed with. Furthermore, the venom within it is equal to that of the blue-ringed octopus. Number 6. Cone Snail Snails are thought of as very small and very slow creatures, and thus not very harmful to things like human beings. But the cone snail is a killer through and through. This is because of its unique toxin and how it administers it. This isn't the snail to rush at you and attack you or bite you to get poison in you. Rather, the cone snail has the ability to launch a harpoon at you with such deadly toxin, it's potent enough to kill 20 men with a single drop. What might shock you even more is that the cone snail can project these harpoons in all directions. There's no limit to its range in regard to location. Due to its size, its threat level is arguable. However, larger versions of the cone snail have been known to use their harpoons to pierce through gloves and even divers' wetsuits. The toxin itself is a bit slow acting, which in many ways makes this snail more of a threat, as you might not notice what's in you until it's too late. Number 5. Barracuda there are many different types of deadly when it comes to creatures of the ocean. And barracudas are without a doubt one of the most dangerous things in the ocean today for a whole host of reasons. For example, the creature is a massive 6 feet in length on average, which makes it taller than the average adult human if you were to put them next to one another. Then when you look at its mouth, you'll see that the creature has a massive set of teeth, which feature both large and small teeth for various purposes. It'll hook you with those massive front ones, and then it'll rip you to bits with the smaller ones that fill the rest of the mouth. Now, most of you likely don't know that barracudas are venomous, and that's because they are and they aren't. On one hand, barracudas are not naturally poisonous, like many other creatures of the sea or ocean. However, they do have the ability to become poisonous via Sega toxin. This toxin can be very harmful to humans in the right amounts. So how do they have venom if they're not naturally venomous? Barracudas have such high toxin levels because the fish they eat consume a type of algae that produces Sega toxin, and the toxins build up in their bodies over time. Due to this risk, the CDC has put barracudas on a list of things that people should avoid eating just in case. Number 4. Lion's Mane Jellyfish The lion's mane jellyfish is one of the longest creatures on the face of this earth, and is the largest jellyfish on earth. Just the body, called the bell, is known to be 7 feet long. But that's just one part of it. The other part, the part that makes it abnormally large, is the tentacles. Each lion's mane jellyfish can technically have up to a thousand tentacles on it, and sometimes it can have even more. They're tied up in clusters, eight of them, with 150 tentacles per. As for how long they go, these things can reach up to 190 feet in length. So in a way, you need to look out for not just the body, but which direction it's going so the tentacles don't reach out and touch you. As for the venom of their stings, they aren't usually deadly, but because of their long tentacles, getting stung by them can literally happen at any time, which is kind of a problem, as these tentacles can detach and catch you off guard. What's more, accidentally swimming into a large clump of these tentacles can cause a lot of problems for the swimmer or diver in question. Number 3. Sea Snakes the sea snakes are easily one of the most amazing yet curious snake species in the world right now. Mainly because they're from the same family you will find cobras and coral snakes. But the vast majority of these snakes live underwater, and have completely adapted to marine life in such a way that going onto land is fatal, outside one particular species to be clear. Just as interesting is that there are 69 confirmed species of sea snake, 
and every single one of them is extremely venomous and can cause lots of damage to people. One of them, in the form of the Belcher Sea Snake, is thought of to be one of, if not the most venomous snake in the world. Other species have venoms that are ten times more potent than that of cobras. That being said, the sea snakes are legendary for only using their venom on prey, not foes that might try to eat them. But how do they protect themselves then, you might ask? They have other evolutionary tendencies and traits that let them go beyond using their venom. The yellow-lipped sea crate, for example, is one sea snake that has a brightly covered body on one end and then a black head. It'll use the head to probe crevices in the ocean for food, and then the tail will be whipping around and will look from afar like a snake's head ready to strike anything that comes near it. Even sharks are fooled by this trick. The golden sea snake is one that actually has the ability to see through its own tail, to a certain degree of course. Despite being so deadly and so numerous, sea snakes rarely if ever attack humans. Because of this, human fatalities via these snakes biting them is very, very low. Number 2. Box Jellyfish There are many ways to describe the pain of a bite, especially when it has venom pouring into your body. But when it comes to the box jellyfish, one victim actually went very poetic about it all. Your heart strains too hard, and so with the rest of your body. Every nerve ending alerts you in the matter most suited to it, that you are being attacked. Only your consciousness works well, or well enough to remind you you're just alive. It always obeys pain. You make rash decisions as fear takes control. You miss your last allies. Strength and hope as the neurotoxin enters your body and introduces consciousness to absolute pain. Aside from the pain, the power of the venom of the box jellyfish is capable of killing you within five minutes of the sting if not treated properly, making it a race against time to get cured before it's too late. And while you might think, well, just avoid them, the box jellyfish are actually pretty transparent, so it's incredibly tough to see them, let alone get away from them as they can grow up to 10 feet in length, or more depending on the species. The box jellyfish has without a doubt the most potent venom in the known world today. Number 1. Stonefish The stonefish is almost unquestionably the most venomous fish on the planet, and one of its key physical attributes is that it likes to camouflage itself into its environment, so at times you'll never see it coming until it's too late. But it's not just the fear of not seeing it you should be worrying about. The venom should also terrify you. It's not only lethal depending on how much you get, it's one of the most painful toxins in the world. People who have gotten stung by it are known to beg for their limbs to be taken off just so the pain would stop. That's true pain that can only be delivered by a toxin that is meant to kill and then some. As noted, it loves to be on the floor of the oceans it's on, and it'll just blend in with the natural plant life and inanimate objects and then just wait. And then when something steps on it, it'll strike with its 13 poison-filled spines. But there's a problem with that too. The other reason that stonefish are so feared is that they don't live in the depths of the ocean. They actually prefer very shallow waters, thus making them very likely to be found by people on beaches or those who take light dives into shallow areas. There is good news though. The stonefish is mainly found in Australia. Thanks to the study of the fish, the authorities and medical personnel are ready for people who get stung by it. And thus, no one in the region has died from a sting by the stonefish in about a hundred years. However, you should still be wary of it. Because just because the cure is out there doesn't mean you'll get it in time. Thanks for watching. Have you ever been stung by anything in the sea? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in the next video.